I'm here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and if you haven't found yourself in the position of sitting next to another guitar player and jamming along with some blues, hopefully you will. And I hope that this lesson will help you out, because if you're sitting there next to somebody and they're grooving on this shuffle pattern, you don't just want to double what that other guitar is doing. So in this video, I'm going to give you some ideas of ways to add to the rhythmic groove that's happening over that shuffle pattern. Let's get started with the first thing, and that is you can add a cool little moving bass line sound to it. Here's an example of what that might sound like. with that boogie woogie pattern and you can take a lot of creative license here and move this pattern or you got to listen to what the other guitar player is doing to make sure that those notes don't clash but you can fall right in the pocket and just imagine what a bass player would do it's a cool way to just kind of sketch out the rest of a blues shuffle the second thing that I want to share with you is all about chord moves and it's really kind of a three-in-one tip here you can use these uh, chord shapes like get out of this you know area here come up here to say if you're grooving in E do this little E7 shape and maybe let's convert it to an E9 where you're getting that cool ninth sound here and what you can do is what I call chord steps it's just these cool little rhythmic punches just something like that that really follows along with that shuffle pattern but it adds another element the other chord move that you can do is a chromatic chord move where you kind of flatten or sharpen the entire chord shape and then come back to home bass So you can really get a lot of mileage out of this one simple chord shape here. And the cool thing, the other cool thing that you can do is these chord slides. So if you've got that bar happening, bar, go ahead and bar across the top three strings and then you can do some Stormy Monday sounding chord slides. Where you're sliding under that bar on the top three strings. Listen to this little piece and it'll give you an idea of how you can put these three things together as you move through the progression. A couple quick things before we move on to the final tip. The first is I gotta give a quick shout out to Dennis, a BGI member that sent me this shirt from the Harvest Festival in Fredericton, Canada. Really appreciate that man, super cool of you. So thank you, Dennis. And the other thing is I wanna hear from the rest of you guys. So leave a comment below and let me know like what is your favorite song to jam to. We're talking about jamming, playing along, grooving with some rhythm stuff, but what's your favorite? Let me know below. All right, so the final tip that I've got for you is all about adding micro licks. Now micro licks are these cool little compact licks, maybe three, four notes, something like that, that you can really just kind of, just kind of insert into a small space in musical time. And we're gonna do that in this lesson. So there's a few micro licks at play here. There's the train whistle lick coming from here looks like that there's this lick and then there's also this one over a and you'll see that we use these in between some chord changes just to kind of add that melodic element here's an example of what all this sounds like kind of put together we've got the chord moves happening with the micro licks kind of peppered in there for you
All right, I hope you dig that, and I hope that at least one of those tips really helps you out the next time you're sitting down jamming on some acoustic blues with somebody else. But if you're looking for a place to really start and build a solid foundation with the blues, then check out the Acoustic Blues Jumpstart. I've got three free lessons that uh, I'll give you. All you got to do is sign up for those lessons at the link in the description and on your screen. Now, there's another Tuesday Blues coming out next Tuesday. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure that you get notified of the video when it goes live. So I'll see you next week and until then, play on.